But we start with our newsmaker segment and talk with a Kansas Cityan who is closely involved with Missouri politics and government. He is State Senator Ryan Sylvie from the 17th District in Clay County. Sylvie earlier served in the Missouri House after a stint as a legislative aide to then U.S. Senator Kit Bond. Senator Sylvie is known as an outspoken Republican who does not always follow the party line. And we're pleased to welcome State Senator Ryan Sylvie to Ruckus. Senator, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, uh, is that fair to say you don't always follow the party line? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I, I just kind of do whatever I, I think is the right thing to do, and if, if that's where the party is, great, and if that's not where the party is, so be it. Well, maybe the, uh, the most apparent difference with the state Republican Party is over the question of right to work. You're against that legislation. I am. And why? Uh, my district is very much opposed to it. Um, I represent a very uh, blue-collar district north of the river. Um, we have a lot of employees at the, the Ford plant and, and uh, other labor jobs, and uh, that's just not good for them and their families, and so I'm not going to be able to support that. The legislature is in its second special session of this year. Uh, it, it's still going on, and is anything being accomplished? Sure. So we go back Monday um, in the Senate, and uh, basically the, the bill has gone from the Senate to the House. Uh, the House made some very significant changes and sent it back. Um, the question now is whether we go to conference or, uh, or whether the Senate will just pass what the House did. And this segment of the special session is dealing with abortion-related questions? Correct. It's dealing with abortion. Uh, what are your thoughts about Governor Greitens of your party vetoing the legislation that would have given $48 million to UMKC to match the private fundraising of $48 million or so to build a downtown UMKC Arts Campus. Yeah, I was very disappointed that he vetoed that. Uh, you know, basically, Missouri promised um, our higher education institutions that if they had a project that they felt they needed done, um, if they raised the local money, 50% of the cost of the project, the state would come with the other 50%. UMKC came to the table, the, the community rallied behind the project, raised $48 million, um, came to the state, said, okay, now put up, and uh, and Governor Greitens decided to break that promise after the legislature what, voted. What was his rationale, as you understand it? You know, it, it seemed very, um, it, it seemed very surface level analysis, to be honest. He said, uh, you know, the state doesn't have the money. Um, you know, it, it's forty-eight million dollars. But the thing is, you know, the state has a triple A bond rating. Triple A bond rating means nothing unless you actually borrow money occasionally, right? Yeah. Uh, so we can get money very cheap right now. We're one of the few states in the country that can do that. Uh, spreading $48 million out with bonds is 2 to $3 million a year. Very easy to absorb in a $27 billion budget. He wants this, the university to come with $48 million in the next two to three years, which, is, which seems so, to me Some like, people say he's not very fond of urban areas in Missouri, the big cities, Kansas City and St. Louis, both Democratic cities that don't vote heavily for Republican candidates for governor. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what, what he's thinking most of the time. I mean, he doesn't communicate <laughs> with us for the, for the most part. Do you think there's any problem with the state based on what he's doing now, the governor, uh, continuing to subsidize portions of the sports complex and I think also Bartle Hall? Yeah, I mean, those, those were agreements that are coming near expiration. Um, and so here in the next couple years, um, we'll see if, if uh, the state continues to help with the maintenance there or not. Now, now it's very different in Kansas City. We, we pay um, a couple million dollars a year to help maintain those facilities. Um, in St. Louis, we actually pay debt service on the dome, which is a completely different deal and something that uh, doesn't have a lot of support over here. But Every time people uh, gather and talk about Missouri politics, you hear the need for ethics reform. Sure. Is that something you're concerned about? Yeah, I mean, it's something that we hear about um, certainly in the press, uh, probably more so in the press yeah. than the public, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, I mean, we're, uh, we, we could always do better. How, how do you think your party, the Republican Party, is doing nationally? It's failed to pass health care, obviously, nothing so far on tax reform. Uh, the party has both houses of Congress and the presidency and a conservative majority in the U.S. Supreme Court. Think the party is living up to its promise? It's pretty frustrating right now, to be honest. I mean, I think both on the national level and on the state level, um, the heads of the parties there, both the president and the governor, um, seem to uh, think that they can unilaterally push agendas without talking to anybody. And I think that's what you're seeing. The, the president says, this is what we're going to do. And then the Congress is like, well, how do we do that? And doesn't quite get together. Quick, quick we question. Have the same thing on the governor's. Did, did you want Missouri to expand Medicaid? 
Um, I did, but I wanted him to do it in a conservative way like Mike Pence did in Indiana. All right. Senator, out of time. Thank you very much for coming in. It's a pleasure to see you again. Great. Thank you very much. That is State Senator Ryan Sylvie of the 17th District. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.